Hello viewers, today we are going to study epidemiology of cancer. It is the study of the distribution, determinants and frequency of cancer in defined population. The epidemiological studies establish the causative link between various factors and cancers. These factors can be environmental factors, host factors and acquired predisposing conditions. The host factors can be age, sex, genetic factors and also interaction between the environmental factors and genetic factors is an important determinant in the uh, occurrence of or the development of cancers. So what is the global impact of cancer? Globally, one in six deaths occur due to cancer and the incidence of cancer varies with geography age, race and genetic factors and these are the common primary cancers in the world in men, women and children. Uh, these are the five most common cancers uh, in the decreasing order of frequency seen in men, women and children. In men the commonest is the prostate cancer followed by lung cancer, colorectal cancer, urinary bladder carcinoma, lymphoma, in women, breast cancer followed by lung cancer, colorectal carcinoma, endometrial carcinoma, lymphoma and in children acute leukemias, gliomas, bone sarcomas, endocrine tumors, soft tissue sarcomas. In India, oral cavity cancers have high incidence. In men and in women, carcinoma cervix has high incidence. Now high incidence doesn't mean high mortality. In the community post, I had asked a question. Let us see it and see its explanation. In the community post, a question was asked, which of the following cancers account for overall high incidence and high mortality respectively among women? Most of the responses were in favor of option D. But the correct option is A, carcinoma breast, carcinoma lung. The carcinoma breast has overall high incidence and carcinoma lung accounts for high mortality. The explanation? Indeed, although carcinomas of breast occur about 2.5 times more frequently than those of lung in women, lung cancer now causes more deaths in women. We can see this with, uh, with the help of these diagrams. A. Estimated cancer incidence by sight and sex. In women, breast cancer has the highest incidence. It is 30%. B. Estimated cancer deaths by sight and sex. Here, in women, the high mortality is seen with carcinoma lung. It is 23% as compared to carcinoma breast, which is 15%. Similarly, if we look at the uh, data of males, in males, the high incidence is seen with carcinoma prostate. It accounts for 20% of carcinomas. And high mortality rate is seen with carcinoma lung. It is about 20, 24% in males. Age. Cancer can occur at any age. It can occur in adults, it can occur in infancy, in childhood. But it is more commonly seen in adults more than 55 years of age. And the risk of cancer increases with age. This can be because of accumulation of somatic mutations that is associated with the aging of cells. And also it can be due to decline in the immune competence seen in older age groups. Uh, the immune response uh, plays a protective role against the development of cancer. So in immune deficiency states, uh, we see the development of various types of cancers. And the types of cancer in children are different from adults. Uh, in children, these are likely to be caused by inherited mutations and these are less likely to be caused by exposure to environmental carcinogens. The common cancers of infancy and childhood are small round blue cell tumors. These include neuroblastoma, Wilms tumor, retinoblastoma, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, rhabdomyosarcoma. Now let us see the environmental factors which influence the development of cancers. Environmental factors. Wide geographical variation in certain cancers 
uh, suggests that the environmental factors play important role in causation of cancers. Infectious agents. 15% of cancers worldwide are caused directly or indirectly by infectious agents. Human papilloma virus plays important role in causation of cervical carcinoma and head and neck cancers. Hepatitis B virus, Hepatitis C virus. Uh, the geographical areas in which uh, the prevalence of Hepatitis B and C virus is high, they also uh, show increased incidence of hepatocellular carcinoma. So it increases the risk of hepatocellular carcinoma, these viruses. Smoking. Smoking plays important role in the causation of carcinoma lung, mouth, pharynx, larynx, esophagus, pancreas and bladder. Alcohol consumption. It increases the risk of carcinoma, oropharynx, larynx, esophagus and by causing alcoholic cirrhosis, it increases the risk of hepatocellular carcinoma. Tobacco and alcohol use synergistically increase the risk of carcinoma in upper aerodigestive tract. Diet. Diet that is rich in animal fat and poor in fiber increases the risk of colonic carcinoma. The wide geographic variation in colorectal carcinoma, prostate carcinoma and breast carcinoma can be due to variation in diet. Obesity. Obesity increases carcinoma risk. Reproductive history. The lifelong cumulative exposure to estrogen stimulation, early menarche and late menopause increase the risk of carcinoma breast and endometrium, particularly if it is unopposed by progesterone. Unopposed estrogen uh, stimulation increases the risk of carcinoma breast and endometrium. And the wide geographic variation in the incidence of carcinoma breast can be due to cultural differences which influence the timing and the number of pregnancies that a woman have during her lifetime. Environmental carcinogens. These are found everywhere in sunlight in the form of UV rays, in well water, uh, the if, uh, arsenic uh, contaminant is present uh, at workplace various occupational uh, cancers can be seen if there are uh, environmental carcinogens at workplace for example asbestos it can cause lung carcinoma it can cause mesothelioma the diet grilled meat preservatives in food cosmetics medications these all can cause cancer and these are all environmental carcinogens now uh, let us see a table of occupational cancers and the agents which are responsible for these occupational cancers. Occupational cancers, so these agents or environmental carcinogens or workplace carcinogens can cause uh, various types of human cancers and this shows their use or occurrence. So arsenic and arsenic compounds can cause lung carcinoma, skin carcinoma, asbestos, lung, esophageal, gastric and colon carcinoma, mesothelioma, benzene, acute myeloid leukemia, beryllium and beryllium compounds, uh, lung carcinoma, cadmium and cadmium compounds can cause prostate carcinoma, chromium compounds, lung carcinoma, nickel compounds, lung and oropharyngeal carcinoma. Radon and its decay products can cause lung carcinoma. Vinyl chloride can cause hepatic angiosarcoma. The acquired predisposing conditions, these include chronic inflammatory disorders, precursor lesions, immunodeficiency. Both chronic inflammatory disorders and precursor lesions are associated with increased cell replication. So there is proliferation of cells and uh, this carries increased risk of somatic mutations and this leads to carcinogenesis. Varko proposed the cause and effect relationship between chronic inflammation and cancer in 1863. So the persons who have chronic inflammatory disorders, both infectious and non-infectious, they have increased risk of cancer development. So in these disorders, there is tissue damage and this is associated with compensatory proliferation of cells. So there is increase in the pool of tissue stem cells and these cells are susceptible to malignant transformation. 
also in these chronic inflammatory disorders the activated immune cells produce reactive oxygen species and inflammatory mediators which promotes cell survival in the face of genomic damage now the uh, adequate treatment of these disorders can prevent the development of cancer for example h pylori gastritis if it is left untreated then it can cause gastric carcinoma but if it is uh, adequately treated with antibiotics then the development of carcinoma can be prevented now let us see a table uh, showing these different chronic inflammatory states and associated neoplasms so this table shows chronic inflammatory states and cancer these are the etiologic agents of these chronic inflammatory states and uh, these are the associated neoplasms so asbestosis silicosis the associated neoplasm is mesothelioma lung carcinoma the associated neoplasm uh, for inflammatory bowel disease is colorectal carcinoma lichen sclerosis is associated with vulvar squamous cell carcinoma pancreatitis pancreatic carcinoma chronic cholecystitis gall bladder cancer reflux esophagitis barrett's esophagus can uh, cause esophageal carcinoma jogren syndrome hashimoto's thyroiditis malt lymphoma this is mucosa associated lymphoid tissue opisthorchis cholangitis cholangiocarcinoma colon carcinoma gastritis ulcers gastric adenocarcinoma malt lymphoma hepatitis hepatocellular carcinoma osteomyelitis the associated neoplasm can be carcinoma in draining sinuses chronic cervicitis cervical carcinoma chronic cystitis bladder carcinoma so precursor lesions these are localized morphologic changes in a field of epithelium and these are at increased risk of malignant transformation these include hyperplasia metaplasia dysplasia uh, in hyperplasia there is proliferation of cells for example endometrial hyperplasia there is a proliferation of cells in response to estrogen unopposed estrogenic stimulation and this acts as a precursor for endometrial carcinoma now certain benign neoplasms also act as precursor lesions for example colonic villus adenoma if it is left untreated then in 50% of cases it can progress to carcinoma but most of the benign tumors do not progress to uh, a malignant counterpart for example the pleomorphic adenoma leiomyoma lipoma they do not uh, progress or rarely they progress to uh, malignancy so what is happening in these neoplasms colonic villus adenoma and those which are not progressing to malignancy so the at risk benign tumors uh, the example is colonic villus adenoma they possess cancer enabling property of genomic instability while the benign tumors that do not progress they do not possess this property next is the immunodeficiency so uh, immunodeficient patients particularly the t cell immunodeficient they are at increased risk of cancer development caused by oncogenic viruses these oncogenic viruses include hepatitis b virus hepatitis c virus htlv the human papilloma virus epstein barr virus so there is increased incidence of chronic infection in these patients with these viruses and in uh, these patients these can cause uh, lymphoma carcinoma sarcomas now let us see uh, the genetic predisposition another determinant genetic predisposition and interaction between the genetic factors and the environmental factors genetic predisposition and interaction between environmental and inherited factors so in some families cancer is inheritable trait if there are germline mutation in cancer causing genes particularly the tumor suppressor genes so familial predisposition is seen in various types of cancers carcinoma colon breast ovary brain melanomas and these familial cancers they are seen uh, to occur at younger age they are seen at multiple sites and they occur in more than two first degree relatives uh, breast cancer risk is increased in females who inherit 
म्यूटेटेड कॉपीज ऑफ ब्रेका वन एंड ब्रेका टू ट्यूमर सप्रेसर जीन्स बट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन वेरियस फैक्टर्स देर इज कॉम्प्लेक्स इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन हेरिडिट्री एंड नॉन हेरिडिट्री फैक्टर्स एंड जेनेटिक फैक्टर्स इंटरेक्ट विद द एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल पॉलीमोफिजम इन साइटोक्रोम पी फोर फिफ्टी सिस्टम इन्फ्लुएंसिस द कन्वर्जन ऑफ प्रो कार्सिनोजन टू एक्टिव कार्सिनोजन सो इन दोज इंडिविजुअल्स इन विच इट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू एक्टिव कार्सिनोजन दे शो ससेप्टिबिलिटी टू दैट एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर इन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पर्टिकुलर कार्सिनोमा सो इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड द एपिडेमियोलॉजी ऑफ कैंसर वी डिस्कस वेरियस फैक्टर्स एज एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स देन द एक्वायर्ड प्री डिस्पोजिंग कंडीशंस विच इंक्लूड द क्रॉनिक इन्फ्लेमेटरी डिसऑर्डर्स द प्रिकर्सर लीजन्स इम्यूनो डेफिशेंसी स्टेट्स and the genetic predisposition and interaction between the environmental and inherited factors i hope you like the video for more such videos please subscribe my channel and do not forget to like and share my videos thanks for watching